Hello friends, welcome to 40's Friendsgiving. No, it's not November. Yes, I'm very aware of this. <laughs> welcome to the channel. So back in October times, my friend Serena and Drew Hayden Keelan here on Instagram and YouTube, uh, well, they approached me and said, hey, would you want to be a part of 40's Friendsgiving? We're going to do a 40's recipe and a 40's project of some kind on Instagram and YouTube. And I said, yes, absolutely, I'd love to do that. And I was really excited and I picked out my pattern and I picked out fabric, which I is over there. And then in proper Stephanie fashion, I went on a cruise, uh, procrastinated and um, <clears throat> my microphone screwed up the intro and then I got really in my head about this entire project. So here we are in December, finishing it up. <sighs> this feels accurate for me. So I will make sure to link all the videos down below. I believe Haley Marie Vintage created a playlist, so I'll just go ahead and pop that on there so that you can go back and look at all the wonderful creations. And you should also go to Instagram as well to check out all of these lovely humans because I love them for embracing me as me and realizing that deadlines are not actually deadlines for me. They're more like guidelines. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and dive on into the project now, shall we? One of the main things to know is that even though my pattern is dead stock, so it's never been used, you can see there where there's got some discoloration to it. That is from where it touched the acid of this instructions for too many years and it leached into the paper. So that means especially right here, I'm going to have to be very careful when I use this. One eternity later. <laughs> oh God. Hello. <clears throat> Is it currently like 8.40 at night? And I have decided that now is the time to cut out my fabric for this project. Yes, Ye yes, inextricably yes. <clears throat> but anyway, here we are on my floor. We're ignoring the reproduction versus vintage that is literally right behind me that I still need to do. Whoops. Anyway, I wanted to come chat before I cut things out because the pattern definitely has a little bit of damage. I'm not super worried about it. I'll just put weights on it instead of doing the standard pinning. Remember how I picked this pattern because it didn't really revolve, involve much sizing up. I think I'm going to have to size it up anyway, just a little. So I'm going to have to just wing it. That'll work, right? It's like a two inch difference all the way around uh, because I say this is I am guessing since a 36 is usually a waist 30. I have gone up from there every two inches, which is how the waist measurements would have gone up during this time frame. And I'm thinking the waist is a 38 and safely I need a 40 because I like tacos and donuts and sprinkles cupcakes. So there's that. That's, that's, I think I'm gonna have to just like me. And I, then I was like, oh, well, maybe I can just sew it with a half inch seam allowance because they're going to give me five eighths. Hmm. Nope, nope, no, that this is already planned for a half inch. So there goes that plan. All right. Well, now I'm just wasting time. Let's go to the fabric. We have a minor issue. See that? <laughs> yeah. 35 inch width fabric. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just going to pretend like it's not a problem and I'm going to keep going. I don't hear you. I don't see you. You don't exist to me at this moment. So here's what I'm going to do with the skirt. This is the front panel. There's going to be an extra back panel, but I'm going to fold that this way because they're both really thin and they want to be on the fold. So I'm only going to use one yard since I had to use so much for the uh, other pieces. And this blouse front, she ain't going to fit folded properly. So I got to do this 
and that skirt, and then the rest of the bodice has to come out of <clears throat> what's what's left. Okay. Good morning. Well, to say I've been confronted by this project is a little bit of an understatement. I was really hoping for like, straight out the gate, hey, it fits me. I, I don't think that's how this is gonna work, but it's okay. It's still close enough that I think I can make it work, but um, let me get the bodice front and show you. So I actually basted things together. Hooray! I didn't make a mock-up because why would I do that? But anyway, it's cute. It's, uh, I'll back up a little bit here. Great, so you can see here, that all fits about right. I think the the folds feel about right. But what concerns me is this right here. Ooh, tippy toes. So like I'm just barely at my middle. So I think the top actually feels okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, when I do these, there's two dart thingies here on either side and they took in about a half inch each. So I think I'm just going to make them a little smaller and try and keep the spacing even. And then it's just gonna be fine, right? That's how this works? No? Anyway, let's go sew the thing. All the basting has been re replaced with actual freaking stitches. I have ironed everything and you can't really see the basting hole, so I'll call it a win. Then they were like, hey, you should probably do those darts. And we're just going to remember that Stephanie is garbage at darts. Uh, one of them has like a full on curve. Uh, don't have time to care, it'll be fine. So now it is time for shoulder and side seam application. And now, just like that, we have some, some type of a bodice, some kind of a bodice. But let's just break the illusion here for a second, kids. This notch situation, not good, not good. Let's go refer to the pattern and see how badly I messed up. This is the back. This is the double notch in question right here. This one and the other one did not line up even remotely close. I'm getting the pattern piece that fell on the floor. Let's see if it was just my cutting ability or this pattern that sucked. So if these were to line up... Oh good. I feel vindicated because it wasn't just me. This pattern also was not great about aligning that. So I guess my fix will have to do. Next step is... Oh right. Facings. Let's go figure that out. Let's bust out our trusty instructions and figure out what the hell is supposed to be next. Uh, join shoulder and underarm seams. Check. Sunlight. Ow. Uh, leave left side open. Did that. Well, no, I do those really wide stitches so I can just do a centered zipper because I cannot be bothered with lap zippers. Really just can't. Cannot. And then uh, under face, neck, and armholes with a three inch binding. No, bias, three inch bias, or shaped facing with the same shape and grain as the outside. So they want me to make bias. I don't wanna, but I also don't wanna use the new made stuff that's really like stiff. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Crap. I guess I shall go pick up the kiddo, take the dog for a walk and think on what I want to do because I don't I don't have bias tape makers or those little metal bits I don't I don't do that because um, I'm lazy and normally can't be bothered but this fabric is so light that like oh good you stopped recording at some point fantastic but this stuff is so lightweight that I think that stiff 100% polyester bias that you can just buy at Joann's ah mm, no man am I gonna have to make bias <laughs> Let's take the pup for a walk and I'll think on it. Florida. All right, dog walk, check. Decision made. Yup. Now, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna go in and be actually a responsible adult and make bias tape and just go ahead and figure it out? No! <laughs> Welcome to my channel where I perpetually procrastinate.
So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and sew the entire skirt together, starting with the zipper closure side. Don't ask me why there was a clap there. I don't really know. Let's sew the skirt so I can go do other things. Ha 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 Procrastination. That's what we do here. Much, much, much later. <clears throat> Hello. It has been two weeks since I've looked at this project. <laughs> Did I mention I procrastinate hard on this channel? Cause uh, yeah, I definitely do. And no, I never went to the store to get bias binding. Cause the idea of it like being super stiff all the way through, just, just, no. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna use my book and I'm gonna figure it out. <sighs> I am going to be using my copy of Better Dressmaking from 1947 by Ruth White Spears to hopefully teach me how to make bias binding even though I do not have the little the little metally bits to turn it into it, but it's also supposed to be really super wide, like three inches wide. So I don't think that would help anyway. So I'm just gonna figure it out and it'll be fine. <laughs> it's gonna be me, you, and this remnant yard of fabric. Let's do it. Well, I may have to turn over a new leaf. Ruth, she may have convinced me that actually making bias binding works a whole lot better than like the polyester stuff that I would buy at Joann's because like this lays so nice. I'm just like, look at it turns so easily and it doesn't feel all weird and stiff and look like I'm gonna have like shoulders that go out to here. The only thing I will say is that the, the sleeves they did all right, but it's still not great. I'm not great at applying this stuff, but the center front. <clears throat> so yeah, I had to entirely rip <laughs> that section right out and I'm going to hand stitch it so it doesn't look like complete garbage. And then I'm going to be very, very thankful that I had not switched a little bow right over the top of that. And uh, do I have enough fabric to make a bow? I don't actually know. Am I going to be using the extra bias binding that I cut? Because I definitely forgot I needed a bow until right now. It's very possible. But either way, I am going to go attach these and then I'm gonna go to bed because it's late. And then things went awry in three, two, one, shit. This is why you don't sew when you're tired. Now I have to unpick the damn thing. I'm gonna sew the thing together and I'll see you tomorrow. The next day. Good morning. Today I have absolutely zero idea and welcome to my life. 2021. Anyway, so I did get the bodice and skirt together. Bam. So no puckering, thankfully. And I dug through my stash for a gray zipper not being able to find one. So we're gonna go with a black zipper because that's just what I have. I do center line zips. It's my dress. I don't care. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go pick that up now. And then I realized that the bow is supposed to be five inches with a rolled hem. Cute. Uh, yeah, I don't think this pile of shenanigans is gonna get me any 45 inch long piece. So we're gonna have to take the biggest pieces we can and like make it work. I probably won't do one big long thing and tie it. I'll probably like do a section, fold it over, do another section, fold it over, wrap it in the center, give it two tails. Is that too much work for a bow? It's very possible, but I really need to disguise the fact that I up the very center front. Gotta do what you gotta do. So on the grand task list of things that are left is zipper, bow piecing together, hem, question mark? And generally finishing the inside so it doesn't fall apart on the first wash. All right, uh, zipper town, here we come.
Bam! Um, okay. We're ignoring this giant thing right here. I mean, okay. So if I actually tack down the facings, you know, huh. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's... It needs a big-ass bow. That's what it needs. So let's wrap this bad boy up with a succinct statement of me no likey. There's just so much about this product that just didn't quite go the way I wanted to. One, this is a very top heavy pattern, like the sleeves and the bow and all the gathers instead of a nice clean darting. And then you go down into a very slim line skirt. Like I get it, it's 1940s. That's absolutely what you needed to do. But <laughs> when I say that I look exactly like my granny, if I can find that photo, I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, yeah, except minus the bow. Granny wouldn't have worn the bow. And by granny, I mean like legitimately my great, great grandmother who actually raised my grandmother because my great grandmother passed away super duper early. So I feel like granny and not in a good way. <laughs> I enjoy the way that the, the bias idea was. Will I do bias trim on other projects as like trimming or co like contrast? Sure, absolutely. Will I use it for facings? No, ugh, I hate these. I took the time to do all the hand stitches, not all the hand stitches, but I was like, I was tacking it down at all the seams so that they would stay so it would look nice for the reveal. And it just, oh sure, the one time it doesn't flap out. It like just flaps out randomly. And this neckline is totally messed up. Like the facing is currently curled around the back of my neck. If I were to fix it correctly, I would go back in with a seam ripper and tear the whole thing out, make a shaped facing like I do on most of my garments. And I would install it that way. Or I might go in with my scissors, cut it up the middle back at a triangle just to make do. <laughs> Uh, please don't unsubscribe from the channel. Uh, the reason why I'm not showing you like after I fix it is because this is gonna, gonna sit in the naughty corner for a while because I don't wanna look at it right now. <laughs> like I'm so mad. It had so much potential to be so good and I use the fabric that I really like. It's a nice lightweight. It's very good for Florida. Oh, I'm so annoyed. It, it, didn't, it didn't meet my expectations. Let's, my, let's put it that way. But despite all of my misgivings, I do want to thank my friends for Friendsgiving. Make sure that you go check out all the rest of their awesome content, whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube. I'm going to try and link to as much as I can down below. And I'll also click that playlist through that I showed you guys because we all worked really hard on these projects. And just because I waited till December to push this video out, it doesn't mean that all of them did. They were much better about timing than I was. So I'll make sure to link everyone down below. And I want to thank them so much for inviting me to play along, even though this pattern did not rise to the challenge. So I want to thank y'all so much and we'll see y'all next time. Bye. Yeah, you're recording this time. Okay, great. Let's not. Yeah, I love technology. Well, that was cute. Do you not feel like recording today? Third try the charm. My hair is super greasy today and I cannot care less. How did I hold this? Oh, right, like this. Yes, I slammed them together, right. <laughs> Excellent work, Stephanie.
She can be taught. Wrong button. But I hope you didn't do it. <laughs> Boo!